Hello designers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi. I am a fashion designer based in London. In my channel, I do pattern making and sewing tutorial for women's wear and swimwear. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this color block string bikini bottom. If you haven't watched my other video, how to make the color block triangle bikini top, I highly recommend. I'm going to link on the card on the top and the sewing pattern is available to download in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you designer now let's get started you need the following tool and material cut four strings for your bikini bottom Place your fabric on fold and then cut the back on fold for your main fabric and lining. Place your fabric on fold and then cut one for your front on fold for your lining. Now get like two small piece of fabric and then cut one each for whatever color you decide you're going to use for your side pieces which is going to be the color block piece for the front and then just cut one each just make sure when you cut them they mirror face each other this is all the pieces you should have now get your front piece, place right side together with your side piece and pin. Now go ahead your sewing machine and sew along there. I highly recommend to use your sewing machine because obviously this is a color block and this is going to be our front piece we don't want it to use a, a soldier or overlock machine because it's going to leave like a bulk so that's why I recommend to use your sewing machine now get your front piece for your lining and then get your back piece for your lining and then sew along on the crush area Repeat this for your main fabric and then for your lining fabric as well. See, we just sewn there and we use a sewing machine and it's nice and no bulk or anything like that. Thank you. 
Now get your lining piece and then make a small hole because we need to use this hole to turn the swimsuit right side out. Now place your line and your main fabric right side together. Always make sure your main fabric is facing you because we always have to add the elastic on the top of the main fabric. Now just pin on the side and then on the waist area as well. Make sure the seam or align together. So if you want, you can just sew, go ahead in your overlock machine and just sew along. But if you want to add the elastic, you can sew first and then add the elastic. Or you can do both at the same time. And add elastic is optional, you don't have to add elastic if you don't want to. But I personally prefer to add elastic because it just gives that really nice professional look on the swimwear. But it's optional. So we're going to add elastic there. And we're going to add the last key as well. And then the west. Now just sew along using 0 0.5 centimeters. Just to remind you designers again make sure when you if you decide to add elastic lace do not stretch the elastic because all my pattern has already been reduced to a negative is now fold your string in half pin and attach elastic if you want to attach elastic but if you don't want to just go ahead in your surgery machine and sew along your string I personally, what I like to do, I like to cut a long piece of strings and then I just sew in one go. After that, I just measure how much I need and then I divide it from there. Just to try and speed the process on time. <laughs> Now turn your strings right side out. I'm using my loop toner, but if you don't have a loop toner, you can always use your safety pin or anything that you find is easier to turn the strings right side out. Now measure how much you need for your string so it should be 14 centimeters each for the four of them so you need four now get your bottom place the strings through that hole I 
I have this amazing tool which just make very easy to put the strings but if you don't have this one I'm sorry designers I can't remember the name of what it's called but you can always use your loop toner or you just to pull the strings through I like to pin so it's nice and in place Now just sew along there. You can use the sewing machine for this step or you can use your serge as well. Make sure you double stitch as well so that way your strings are nice and secure. Now we have sewn there, there, all nicely done. Now turn your bikini bottom right side out through that hole. Just do gently, take your time designers. So the bikini bottom is almost done designing. So I did have a lot of requests. Other designers, they, want, they wanted me to show how you close the hole. If I have time, I usually do by hand, but I'm, if I'm just being lazy, I just use my sewing machine. If you just like pull straight and then just put inside the seam inside and then you just do like nice, easy, straight stitch and make sure you back stitch. If you haven't watched my other video, how to do the top, I'm going to link on the cards on the top or in the description below. Okay, designers, see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.